Hello people, this is our Cobra and this is Let's Play Dragon Age 2. And we're nearing the end game. Which we're all looking forward to. Either because you look forward to what I'll be playing after this, or because you look forward to the epic climax of this. Or maybe you're just looking forward to me being disappointed by a not so epic climax. What do I know? So let's look here. Yep, I was informed that it wasn't a glitch, I just missed someone here, so you know what, let's get that cleaned up immediately. Let's see, companion... Okay, let's go f Fenris, Varric, and Meryl. Let's hunt some bandits. Alright, let's try to do that one more time. How's things in here anyway? Ah, the Canary compound is closed off. With a fence. Cute. Anyway, let's do this. Oh, you can level up. I just didn't notice. You know, when you think about it, I haven't actually got that many spells. I got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not really that many, and two of them are just passive. And I really like that, I must say. I ra like that you actually, you know, upgrade your spells, rather than constantly get near ones and risk getting overwhelmed. I mean, I d certainly had more spells when I knew what to do with in the end of Dragon Age. So I think this is an improvement. Where's the guys I missed? Hello! Ah, there you are! You've been eluding me. That's not very nice. Not nice at all. There. You know, it's very... F funny that it's considered also important that these three extra guys get killed, even though all the rest of this gang is dead. Oh well. At least it... Why do I keep going out different places? What's that? This is fun... Blah! A fun house? Oh well, let's move on. Okay, let's talk to Fenris and... Oh wait, well, so... I'm sorry, I thought we were going to Fenris Mass. I'm not sure, really sure what's going through my head right now. I think I'm a bit overexcited, that's all. Is there anything new? No? Well, look at you know what, I'm just going. This is getting really hard. I could have sworn I clicked on. Okay, let's try this one more time. Just, yeah. Fenris. Damn, Cobra, what's going through your head right now? I haven't been drinking or anything. Well, maybe a drink would help. Got something from my parents. Packs quite the punch, if I have to say so myself. Like, you you take one little sip and you don't need more. <sighs> huh. Driven to drinking, are we? last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? Thanks for sharing. The anniversary of my escape. Astia Valor Fermundis. Care to hear the story? 
Go ahead. Get it out of your system. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. There's nothing like war for covering one's escape. I had no intention of escaping. That time. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. He was relieved to see you'd survived, right? Relieved to see his investment hadn't ended up in Kunari hands, perhaps. I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. I can see where this is going. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Once a slave, always a slave? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this, this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran and never looked back. How well did you know these fog warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them, and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Gripping stuff. You should write it down. You think they teach slaves how to write? I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. You and I don't always agree, but... You don't need to say it. I understand. Let's just say you've earned my respect. Hmm. A last toast, then. To the Fallen. You know, I really appreciate that, Finn. That's, that's, I respect your abilities. I don't always respect your opinion because sometimes it's fucked up and I don't always like what you do, but you're impressive and I think we have a professional relationship here. Anyway, I got you a sword. Take a look at this. A blade of mercy. I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? Hardly. Here, let me show you. Uh. These are gifts of honor given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fumbling. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. Yep, I hear that all the, the time. Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. Mm. They do as they please, all of them. I can see why that would be bad. Bad. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinta would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. 
One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. <laughs> I can imagine. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Sahara, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Saharan, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. Okay. The blade is yours, if you want it. You think I wish to carry a symbol of Imperial honor? You must be joking. Keep your sword. Sell it, melt it down. I want nothing to do with its filthy magic. Hmm. Well, what do you know? You know, if you hate that magic that much, why do you still wear your skin? That's pretty magical. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, let's check the haunted thing. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can end with without encountering too many demons. <laughs> uh, like I really believe that. Well, here we are. Back again. Did you hear something? Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? Well, that was just. I don't hear anything. No, no, I just think Varrickson has gotten the ability to hear the background music. It must be very strange for him. Well, I don't see anything. Something in this house is restless. Yeah, the door. What the hell? I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. He's not supposed to do that, is it? Why oh, yeah, that vase is floating? Well, that's a nice party trick, but until it begins roaring and trying to chaw off my head, I'm not impressed. I mean, after all I've been through, I mean, I kill a high dragon. I'll need more than a floating piece of pottery to scare me. Voice coming from what voice? You're hearing voices now. Oh God, Varric's not only hearing the background music; he's beginning to be able to hear me. Hmm. Can you? No, he can't. We need a key. Uh, oh. Hello. Is there a ghost? Would you stop that, please? Oh, come on! That's getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Come on! That's hilarious. I wish my I had a house like that. I can't do that. Well, unless it intends to start killing me. I think we'll see if it does. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Barton was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Hatuna River, which never sees the sun. Arr! There's no way you're talking about the same Bartram that I met. Maker's truth. There were tears in his eyes. I never thought that was possible before. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Interesting. But where does that bring us? Well, there's a crate here. Let's see. Let's see. There's a dagger. That's probably not it. Powerful magic. Oh, many thousands of deaths must have happened here. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. 
It has to be. I thought it was sold. Huh. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything in here unless the pictures on the stuff moving. Nope. Well, it's not attacking us, so, I mean, how dangerous can it be? Yes, hello? Oh, well, that's nicely. Well, it's nice and all, but... What? Look, can we get to the point... Well, that's locked. You know, seriously, I want a ghost like that. Want to clean up, so I don't have to do it myself all the time. Ow! What? I. Okay, that's it. What the fuck? That was unnecessary. Here I am. Oh, you don't don't throw that stuff at me. That's not cool. I was just saying here how good you were and how nice and stuff like that. But no, then you had to get all. Psychotic. Oh dear. How does one get up there? Well, I guess that's not really important. Okay, which one can I enter? The one over here, so. Huh, I must have missed that last time. Okay then, I imagine the strongest source of overworld energy is in here, so raise yourselves people! Well there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who you're gonna call? Where's the idol? Michael Hall. Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. I didn't exactly want to stay for dinner, but I think we've got a few minutes to hear her out. He's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Wait, music, song, Varric, stand still. Maker, no. It's starting again. Wait, he's hearing the idol. Okay, a ghost golem? That's definitely different. <laughs> 